this is Jude. Welcome back to my channel. Way before the latest health craze of fasting, the practice of religious fasting was common among Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. Fasting is the will of abstaining or the reduction from some or all food, drink, or both for a period of time. An absolute fast or dry fasting is defined as abstinence from all food and drink for a defined period of time. We as Catholics are required to follow the rules for fasting and abstinence, which are, number one, every person 14 or older must abstain from meat and items made from meat on Ash Wednesday, Good Friday, and all the Fridays of Lent. Two, every person between the age of 21 and 59 must fast on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. And that is consisting of one main meal and two smaller meals and no snacking. Now why do we fast? We fast to deny ourselves physically and offer ourselves in spirit and prayer to grow closer to God. Ways to fast include giving up favorite foods or pleasures, even refraining from social media screen time. Now traditional days to fast for Catholics are Wednesday and Friday, commemorating Jesus' betrayal and crucifixion. Now it's always a good idea to plan ahead. So choose your day to fast and how long you will fast. Prepare what type of fast. For an example, is it going to be a bread and water fast? Eat less and receive the most holy Eucharist more. Do not work for food that perishes, but for food that endures, for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has sent his seal, which is John 6, 27. And Pope John Paul taught, Jesus himself has shown us by his own example that prayer and fasting are the first and most effective weapons against the forces of evil. And that's Matthew's Gospel 4, 1 through 11. As Catholics, we should always fast at least one hour before receiving Holy Communion, except for water and medicine. Why? Because we embrace the invitation toward becoming more aware of the greatness of the gift of the Eucharist as our true eternal nourishment. Remember, if there are medical reasons, you are naturally excused from having to fast. And just on a personal note, a few years ago, after my Lenten fast, I decided to fast on Fridays throughout the year. And it has been a blessing offering intentions for the sick, the souls in purgatory, the church, and respect of life. Now, do you fast? Have you fasted? And what is your practices of fasting? I'd love to know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, friends, I would love it if you hit the red subscribe button and like and comment on this video. And until next time, May peace be with you.